somebody welcome to another episode of cooking with Nana today my menu is gonna be la mu this is what I have on my menu of how to do la mu I have pork meat I have um, pork skin is then it's sliced I did this earlier this morning you can use the frozen one also that they have it at Asian store right here but I like to use fresh and then I would put, I have, lemon, um, I would have cilantro's, green onions, MSG, some limes, and this is the roast rice powder, chili pepper, galanka, and this is the baiki hood, or in English would be kaffir lam li. This is fish sauce, and the badag. And the rest will be just all uh, to put in later on when you're done. The first thing you have to do to get your pork, turn on your oven, put on um, boy. Um, I, I did this earlier. I already roast my pork already. My roast pork would be like this. It's already roast and stuff. Because it's in the oven. We cook, we roast it, and then all we do is just cut it up, slice it. You can chop it or, you know, it depends how how do you like your pork meat to be chopped or sliced. But this is how I do mine. See, it's not too thin. This, you can, um, same thing as beef, as chicken. You can use almost the same ingredients. The, the only thing on beef, we don't use um, pork skin on it and on chicken also but this is this one I'm doing pork if people don't like it you know chop or they can use the hand um, do like break and um, pull it off by pieces but it just takes time and stuff but then for me this is very easy So this is how I slice and chop it and this is how it would be look like. So I did earlier. So this is what I have. So this is the part of the pork. If you don't want to use it, you don't have to. It's just the heart of the pork part. So I will mix all this in together. In. I squeeze the lime in here. And, and then you want um, sour, you can do sour. Some people don't like too much sour on their lap. Mix it with, the, with this first. Remember I said you can use MSG if you want. If you don't want to, you don't have to. Like I said, my house we use MSG. So I'm going to use a spoon. Just a spoon. But I... Some people don't like the smell of padak. You don't have to put padak. You can put fish sauce and some salt and stuff. But Lao Lao culture is that we do use a lot of padak because the padak brings more taste to our food. I forgot one thing is the dry crushed pepper. This is a dry crushed pepper that I have that I we do this at home. I'm not going to, probably one spoon for me because my kids is going to eat it and it's going to be too spicy and stuff. Remember the kalanka, it's already sliced. And the, the baiki hood leaf, I will put it all in here too. So, 
to mix it. Then I will add fish sauce. And you taste and see how you want it. So I will add more lime. It seems like I use like a, almost three lime. Like I said, if you like a um, little bit sour, you can add sour. If you don't, you don't have to. And remember my pork skin. I will put in my pork skin. So it's like two, um, two cups of pork skin. Some people like a lot. Some people doesn't really like it. If you can't, if you don't want to put it on, you don't have to. But when you have pork skin on it, it tastes better. It's more like, like really loud, loud food. Then we can still add more. I'm just gonna use it all up. That's my two cup of a pork skin. Don't forget the roast rice powder. You have to have this on lap. Every lap you put on the beef, the chicken, you have to have that. Then you taste it, see how you want it. If you say it's good, then I mm. think I'm going to add more for that. There's. And one spoon of nampa. I think it's sour enough for me already. And we'll put some the chili that I have. You can put chili if you want to. If you think it's, you know, your kid's going to have some, you don't have to. Look at all the pork skin and all the, everything's in here. Okay, this is how you do your lap. I'm going to taste one more time. Mmm, perfect. My last ingredient is the herb. Put all in here. If you have mint at home or in your refrigerator or anywhere that you find, you can add mint in there. Oh my god, this looks so good. I hope you guys try this at home. You know, it's, it's just simple and easy, but it's and stuff. So I will show you how to plate this and how we serve it when our guests come. So I'm done with my lot so this is how I'm gonna plate my you know if a friend family guest is coming over to visit us and stuff and they're like oh I want to eat lot so we're just gonna make a plate there's some cucumber just line it up the eggplant And the radish. Some people like radish, some people don't. It depends if you know if you want to have radish in there, you can, but you don't have to. And then I'll, I will put a lap in here. fresh chilies you can add fresh chilies here and with the sticky rice always have sticky in it especially when you're eating with all this food so like I said please enjoy my dishes and try to make this and like my coach would say 
มาเดอร์มาเดอร์มากินข้าวน้ำกันเดอร์